today's video, I'm going to give you a quick tip that's going to help you scramble better, especially with non-escape artist quarterbacks in Madden 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel basically is entirely focused on giving you tips and tricks that are going to help you win more games in Madden. We do that through a variety of different ways. We do tips. We do gameplay film study breakdowns on pro players. We do uh, different types of strategy videos. We give away a scheme every single week. We live stream every night at uh, 1030 Eastern Time. So if that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do is join our channel Discord. That's the best way that you're going to be able to stay up to date with everything going on with the YouTube channel and a link to do that is in the description all right guys so what I want to do is and, and I want to talk a little bit about this this is a quick tip here uh, this is kind of a newer not really a newer development but something I haven't actually done a breakdown on and for those of you guys running spread I thought this would be uh, a really good breakdown some of you guys have taken uh, advantage of my competitors guide which is where I break down my offense and my defensive guide and one of the uh, one of the things that I talk a lot about is spread offense it's really the way I like to play this year and basically what might happen, what you might face is you might face something like this. So if you're, if you're trying to scramble, maybe you have a clear way to scramble and you hold right trigger and you see how slow Rogers goes. You see how he, he goes really slow right there out of the pocket. Here is a quick tip that's going to help you uh, scramble out of the pocket a little bit more effectively. Okay. All you're going to do, all you're going to do, and again, it doesn't matter what we're going to do. We're just going to run everybody off. But whichever side you want to go so let's say you want to go to the right or you want to go to the left or if, even if you want to go to the middle it doesn't really matter okay but i'm just going to do some scrambling here and i'm going to show you just a little bit difference here and you see here i'm just going to hit the uh left trigger and when i hit the left trigger it's going to turn aaron Rodgers into a running back basically um, he's going to function like a running back so see here i can hit left trigger and easily get about 10 more yards out of the pocket it's a little mechanic in the game. One of the other things you can do with this, and there's a lot you can do, but let's say you want to scramble out of the pocket. If I hit left trigger, I can scramble out, and then I can hit it again, and you see how he's going to settle up, and he's going to start throwing. So let's say maybe you want to run, you know, maybe you want to run a play that's going to need you to get out of the pocket. You can scramble out. Whoops, I'm sorry. You can scramble out by clicking that left trigger. So once you're, if you're standing in the pocket, you know, right here, I'm just standing in the pocket. And then I'm gonna hit left trigger and you see how it's gonna give me that initial speed burst out of there and if you have escape artists it's also gonna be effective I mean it's still it's a more effective way to scramble out of the pocket when you're ready to get out um, if you're wanting to like throw on the run or different things like that you know you might still want to hold left trigger but you see here when I when I if I hold left trigger and right trigger when I'm scrambling out you'll see that I can still throw the ball so I'm gonna hold left trigger I'm running out and now I'm holding right trigger and left trigger and you see how I can then throw it on the run across my body with someone that doesn't have a skate artist and doesn't have um, that same mobility that like a Russell Wilson has. You see, I can hold left trigger and right trigger and you see how I'm, I'm rolling, but I'm able to throw the ball on the run a little bit better. Okay, this is a quick tip for pocket passers. If you guys are using pocket passers, start using that left trigger. Um, it really is going to help your offense. I love you using Rodgers um, for the fact that he's got gunslinger and he's got the pass lead abilities that I love. So if you want to, if you want to um, scramble with someone like an Aaron Rodgers or someone that's not a mobile quarterback, using that left trigger mechanic is really going to help you. Um, and you'll see here, whoops, end up taking a sack because of a heavy pressure. But it's just a more effective way than holding just holding right trigger because we're all used to just holding right trigger. And you see here, if I just hold right trigger, it's he's just not as fast out of the pocket. There's a little bit of a delay in it. And again, this is just a quick tip to help you guys do uh, a better job of scrambling. I wanted to give you something really tangible today. And what's also really cool about it is let's say um, let's say like let's say you're at the end of the. Um, you're at the end of the game and you don't want to throw the ball away but you also don't want to take a sit a sack if you when you scramble out of the pocket or just when you hit left trigger all you have to do is just hit square so by hitting left trigger if you just hit square it's going to make him slide so for example if i'm scrambling out of the pocket right here maybe it's the end of the game and i just want to slide down i can do that i just all i have to do is tap square after i've hit left trigger if i tap square it's going to give the quarterback up just like that right there so that's a nice little tactic as well because if you're rolling out of the quarterback and let's say you're doing something like this let's say you're rolling out 
and you're on the run, all you got to do is hit left trigger and square. Whoops. Or, I'm sorry. Because when you're rolling out of the pocket, you're going to be in initiating that. So, again, all you're going to do, you're rolling out of the pocket, and then you're just going to hold. Um, whoops. You're just going to click left trigger and square. So, again, I'm rolling out of the pocket, and then I'm just going to tap left trigger, and then I'm going to hit square. And as you can see there, it's a way that you can basically clock towards the end of the game. So, again, this is a little bit more of a tactical tip, but I think this is going to help a lot of you guys, uh, especially those of you that like to use pocket passers like Jameis Winston um, or Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady's of the world. You're going to be able to left trigger out of there very simply, and it's going to help you uh, run the ball a little bit better from the pocket, especially get out of the pocket with those quarterbacks that are escaping because again you're stepping up stepping up stepping up and then i just left trigger out of there and you see there i'm able to get out of there now make sure you're playing on conservative uh, not able to do that in practice mode so i'm fumbling a lot but again that is just a quick tip for you guys and again if you haven't already picked up the competitor's guide the competitor's guide is my offensive and defensive complete full guide for madden 20 and madden 21 we are actually getting ready to update that guide for madden 21 as soon as it comes out so you're going to be able to basically get access to my full offense my full defense for madden 20 and then you're going to get a free update in madden 21 so if you want to be um probably one of the most effective passers in Madden what I want to encourage you to do is pick that up that link is in the description and then the defense is also really nice it's great coverages great blitzes as well uh, I think one of the better three four bears in the entire game put a lot of work into that there's probably over six hours of breakdowns it includes a depth chart for all 32 teams and I think this week we're actually working on a play call sheet for you guys that already have it we're going to be updating that weekly for you so if you want to take your game to the next level I want to just encourage you to check out that competitors guide it really would mean the world to me and if you're just coming by the channel to do this is your first time watching a video I want to encourage you to click that discord link join the discord not only are you going to be able to ask me questions directly in that chat but you're also going to be able to ask questions to different pro players different tournament players different competitive players that we have that have joined our discord so thank you so much for watching this video and i look forward to seeing you in the discord